What is up everyone? Today is the Epic Bike Review and yes you are looking at a 2014 BMW S1000 RR. For everyone that guessed uh, what the bike was going to be thanks I know Moto Vlogo he guessed it was going to be pretty much everything in the world except this uh, but one uh, user I believe it's uh, Stephen Roach he guessed it was going to be a BMW uh, good guess I think he said the uh, single R it's actually the double R but good guess um, but again I got this about a month ago had a finalized paperwork and such uh, but this is the bike it's uh, black I'm sure I hope you enjoyed the intro pretty fitting for this bike uh, I still have the uh, CDBR 1000 double R I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might sell it, might keep it, like I mentioned in earlier uh, motovlog. But yes, this is the bike. Uh, hiding the Hawaii tag, of course. And uh, as you can see, I'll go into some features for it that I have. I've added some things. I've had it, like I said, again, a couple weeks. Um, the big thing is I added the CRG uh, RC2 levers, shorty levers, black. I think they look amazing. Weren't too hard to install, but took about an hour or so uh, once we figured it out but uh, they're better than the uh, silver stock uh, levers that come with the bike uh, little tiny things added a ram mount uh, for my cell phone little uh, cover brake fluid cover BMW of course added the uh, zero gravity double bubble uh, dark smoke windshield uh, it's got frame sliders came with it uh, already installed when I bought it I've also added the uh, stomp grip uh, tank pads for the top and the side here side Here's fairing. The big one we did a cat delete so it got rid of the uh, I, sh I joke not a 20 pound 20 25 pound muffler that comes stock with this BMW and the cat converter uh, also the uh, Dan Moto exhaust this also came with the bike it was installed the day after I bought the bike I do like uh, the Cat Delete. I want to get like a belly fairing or such. I think they sell them for BMW. Um, Dan Moto exhaust, like I said, it's about a $120 exhaust or so. It's better than the stock can. It's carbon fiber. It's not, I think I might get a Acropova exhaust. Uh, we'll see in the future. Uh, big thing I added here, I got uh, rid of the passenger pegs and put, bought these Sato racing hooks. Uh, I think they look pretty cool than the standard, you know, cover you can get across here because there's a gap in the BMWs. If you don't, these will rattle around. But anyway, it also serves dual purpose because now it's a tie-down hook for both sides. So if you want to put it in the back of a truck or take it to race day, etc. And it looks pretty badass. Got it from Revzilla. Um, what else we got? Fender Eliminator Kit. I installed this. It wasn't too hard. Uh, the tricky part was getting the uh, turn signals here installed because it's all mounted together. Um, stock tail This light. is the uh, Chinese version of the rear cow. Only paid like 26 bucks. Um, the real one, I believe, is four or $500. Um, it wasn't too hard. I had to switch the lock uh, from the stock seat to this. There's a little bit of a gap, if you can see. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some foam or some sealant, uh, maybe some black rubber caulk. And it should seal it right up and fit in that gap. Probably won't look too bad either. If not, if it looks like crap, then I'll just go back to the regular so on seat. On this side, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, nothing changed really much. Uh, as you can see, that cat delete does look good. I don't know if I like the pipe showing. Got a little rider clip there for the, the shoe so it doesn't get dirty. Gives you a little bit more grip. I uh, might get some more rear sets. Um, looking at such, just down the road purchases. And uh, other than that, this is the bike. The long-awaited unveil, and I got—I love the eye, the off-centered eyes. Um, so, you know, they call it like alien head, etc. I just think that's a distinct look. Like, hey, I'm a BMW. Look at me. And uh, black—it's—it's it's just sexy black. I love it. Um, oh, one more little thing. Tension to detail. Even the little hubcaps I got are the official BMW RR. Little. Uh, tire caps there so uh, <laughs> so little things uh may get a uh, like i said another muffler in the future uh maybe a belly pan there for the fairing to come uh, cover up more some new rear sets maybe another seat um 
more comfortable seat. That one's not bad. The bike rides like a dream. It's like everyone else says that has one of these or has test ridden one. It is like the best of all worlds. It's like the king sport bike. The it, You almost use it as a touring bike because it's comfortable. It's the fastest bike I've ever ridden. Uh, it's a lot faster than my uh, Honda CBR1000RR. Um, I mean, overall, they're all pretty much the same, but it's just a different kind of quickness to it. And uh, now I'll give you a, a little start up and uh, y'all can hear the sound. All right, we'll start her up for you. And this has already been warmed up earlier. And I just love the way it sounds when it starts. And like I said, the cat delete, it made a little bit of a difference in the sound noise. Like I said, the, you know, the cat's not there anymore. Dan Moto exhaust, not bad for what it is. Um, like I said, I'm probably still looking at other exhausts, but for now it looks good, way better than a stock can. So we'll get some sound going. Then I'll rev it to about 4,000 and maybe a little higher. Yeah, sounds good. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's the engine sound. It rides like a dream. It's smooth, it's comfortable, it's awesome, and I uh, highly recommend it. There will be lots of uh, moto vlogs with this bike to come, so stay tuned. Please uh, like and subscribe, share this video, show everyone the awesome power, beauty, and looks of the 2014 BMW S1000RR. And that's all I got. I'll talk to you all later. Take care.